Why have you not tried weird vegan foods? That's literally right up your alley. Jacob, you need to do it. Thank you, kitty cat, because today we are doing that. I guess we're not actually trying weird vegan foods. We're trying vegan foods from Costco, but you are the inspiration behind this. Whenever you go to Costco, you always see these random ass brands. So I thought Costco would be a good place to try vegan stuff because this is like random shit that no one has tried. People have tried it, but uh, you get the gist. Knock knock. Welcome to the Casco vegan restaurant tonight. Okay, thank you. You aren't British. Oh, I thought it just added to the fanciness oh. of the situation. Oh, it actually does. Oh my gosh, this is nice. <laughs> Thank you, Costco. <laughs> Holy cow. Hi, my name is Brandon. I'm the head chef at the Costco Vegan Restaurant. I'm Brandy and I'm the assistant chef. So I'll be assisting Brandon along the way. What's first on the menu today? First of all, we are having some plant-based sausages. Smoked apple and sage. And then we also have Italian garlic and funnel. To make the sausages, we cut off the casing and we got a skillet and started frying them up. We cooked them for about five to 10 minutes and boom, they were the perfect amount of tenderness. Yeah, we made them with love and I hope you guys enjoy them. So yeah. Oh, oh dang, some big old sausages. I've had vegan sausage before and this is very much reminding me of it. The texture of these, the look of them. But I'm actually trying to think if I've had vegan sausage. I've had vegan meats, but like sausage? I had this vegan sausage from Target once and I remember it being kind of like bloody and I liked it, but I uh, wouldn't even really consider it a sausage. I kind of considered it in like its own realm. Of... That's a whole new category. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. It's Italian, right? Mmm. Oh my god, this is good. It tastes like a pizza. I don't know if I'm eating a pizza roll. But yeah, like you said, like maybe the tiniest bit of like bread involved. Like it's like meat with bread. This is not me critiquing the Costco kitchen or the Costco restaurant, but mm. I would probably cut it up in pasta. But um, I do mm. like how they served it alone. It's, it's oh, nice, yeah. but like still. It is boring how they served it, but. What is that one taste that's in every vegan item? Is it like casein or something? I don't even know if that's a thing, but like, or what's that one thing that's in everything? Tempeh or something? Cause there's one taste that's always in these vegan type things. Like in a past video, I went to Ikea and tried their meatballs. This is exactly how the vegan meatballs, they have this one taste. It's not a bad taste. It's just like a common taste between all these vegan things. Can you like go more in depth the taste? Because I want to try to find the taste. Well, it's not meatball. in any other taste besides vegan things. So it has to be some sort of vegan substitute. Cause it's, I never taste this in any other food. It is kind of the bread vibe, I think maybe. I'm gonna get some ketchup. By the way, we made sure this is vegan. Or I mean the restaurant did. With the ketchup, it brings it to a whole other level. You actually get tricked for a second. That's like a coney dog. A little dunk? Mm-hmm. When you get tricked for like a millisecond? I don't really like ketchup with it. It's weird. Ketchup makes anything better to me. So this one's like apple, sage, and funnel? This is like a breakfast type vibe then, right? Okay. It's usually where you have apple sausage, right? Yeah, I don't really get apple sausage if I'm being honest. It looks a little bit burnt, but maybe that's what they're going for. I like this one better. It tastes more like a sausage. It does taste more like a sausage, but I don't like it better. This with sunny side up eggs, perfect vegetarian breakfast. I still like it. I just would rather have the other one. I don't know this one. I haven't tried it with ketchup yet though. Let's do a little dunk. <laughs> Good. I was biting into mine and it was like the bread texture, but then I got something that was mushy and I want to know if that was like some apple shit. I think that's why I like it. It was mushy it's, shit? It's more, it's not as bready. Just more like juice or something. Like how you said you'd eat the Italian one for real. I would eat this one for real. <laughs> for real? Like if you weren't stuck <laughs> in this vegan restaurant. Yeah. As I eat this apple one, I kind of like get what you're saying. It is like good. Those are great. Munchy munch munch. Something else about these sausages is that I feel like the taste is like strong. They, so much seasoning. Yeah, like they really? put a lot of impact on your taste buds. It's definitely not bland. 
would you become vegan for is the question. I might for the apple one. I could picture myself every morning having eggs with it. Like, I'd be vegetarian then. Mmm, fake eggs. For the sake of it, let's just ask, like, act like eggs are vegan. Oh, then I'll go vegan for it. I would too, because they were mighty tasty in my opinion. Huh, you killed it, Costco restaurant. We have a side for you now. This is the Organic Veggie Bites by Don Lee Founds. With these lovely vegan bites, we popped them in the air fryer for a few minutes, and that's all you have to do. They got crispy, and we put a lot of effort in for you guys. We hope you guys enjoy it. Um, as you can see, this is another pre-packaged item, sort of like the other one, just processed foods, just throw it in the microwave. But yeah, hope you love it. All right. Wait, Jacob, aren't they letting go? Uh, can we get a hand? Thank you. Wait, I don't get it. Are we not allowed to eat this? Um, These look great, like little tater tots, I guess. Is that what they're supposed to be? I'm just gonna guess it's like a bunch of vegetables. And they also gave us a good sized portion. I know, this is a good deal. Should we just both try one right now with nothing? Yeah. Chaos. I'm looking fine. These are so good. What if I have that tastes like this? It reminds me of a Chinese restaurant. You might leave a crab oh wing goon. Crab wing Or an boon. egg roll. Mm. It does have such an egg roll vibe. Perfect appetizer. I'm gonna dip one of these in ketchup. These are actually so good. What are they meant to be like, just a side dish or something or what? It's supposed to be like a, um, an adult. Adult. My only con. This is one of those foods where it gets boring so fast. Exactly what I was thinking. Like, thank you for giving us such a big portion, but I'm already over them because it's so much of the same flavor. And also, this is what this food goes in for me. Salt food. Your taste buds can only take a salt and I'm on a salt. And yes, all this shit is salty, but these are ultra salty where I feel like I'm just getting salt overload and it's kind of mm. like I'm over salt. Every time I eat another one, it's so good, but then I just instantly get so bored. I'm extremely bored. I don't a lot of appetizers like that. Yeah, that's what I always have thought. Like, I love mozzarella sticks, but after like a while, after you eat like two, it's just like too much. Yeah, they get boring really quick. I kind of have to say I don't like these and I wouldn't go vegan for them because they're so effing boring and thinking about eating another one, kind of an over-exaggeration, makes me want to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> don't push a body. Yeah, I have to agree. I hate them. Even though like if you fast forward, I mean, if you rewind back to when we first ate one, we said, oh my, this is so good, but ugh. The package did say there was nine servings. So like one person isn't supposed to eat all this anyway. <laughs> Yeah, we overate, so it's our fault. Oh, yeah, it's our fault. We still love the vegan restaurant. It still tasted really good in the beginning. Yeah. All right. We, and we still love you, um, Brandon and Brandy. Yep. Huh, it looks like you guys are still a little bit hungry, so we have some skinny butcher plant protein crazy crispy chicken breasts. <laughs> this isn't real chicken. It's imitation chicken, one would say. It's made with like vegan stuff. I've actually never had it before, but basically we just, we put this one in the air fryer. Usually I would make everything homemade, but this is the Costco restaurant and Costco already made it for us. But, but, but we did put a lot of effort into preparing it for you guys. Like it took a lot of time putting it in the air fryer. Hope you guys like it. Yeah, I honestly don't even know why Brandon had me as an assistant because these are all just microwave meals, but yeah. Happy to be here and I hope you guys are having a good time. Oh. Oh, a fried chicken thing. Yeah. I'm you, excited. You would expect it to be in a sandwich or something, but. I know, like, or some sort of sauce or anything, but. From the outside, it looks exactly like um, a chicken pie, like it has those little black flakes, the little oh. like grill marks. But it smells a little bit different. Like what's that smell? I smell popcorn. I'm getting a seafood smell. <laughs> Ew. This very much reminds me of a TV dinner chicken thing. I know, it, it seems very like, like dry, but I'm not, I'm not judging it. It's easy to cut through, which is cool. Cheers. 
It's hot. I honestly get what they're going for. Like you get like subtle tastes like being like, is this fried chicken? But this is like so dry. I know I've only had one bite, but if I was 100% vegan, I just would opt out of vegan chicken. You got, yeah. I've had vegan chicken before and it just isn't, um, isn't it? It's not good. Why is it so dry though? Like I need some juice, you know? See if maybe ketchup will solve it. Mm. When you bite into the chicken, you're just biting into mush, right? Mm. That's what mine was like. I don't know if your school lunches were the same, where they had those patties of meat. <gasps> These are gonna like that. You dip it into the ketchup and it, it that's what it is then all of a sudden. Let's see. It solves it all. The ketchup literally solves every problem I have with it. It's basically just a make chicken chicken thing, if we'll be completely honest. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is what veggie grilled chicken tasted like. Oh, I think that chicken was butter. Something about it still reminds me of fish. I don't know what it is though. I'm not getting that. I'm just getting like ultra processed chicken where it's not even chicken anymore. I actually like it. And like you said, if this was on a sandwich, you know it would be good. But just by match. itself, I'm getting this whale like fish taste. And I, and I know it would be eliminated is it if you didn't have it by itself. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if you tore it up out, if it'd be stringy. You know how chicken's kind of stringy? Oh yeah. And weirdly, like if you look at it, it looks like chicken. Imagine if they added like fake like veins and stuff. Now that I think about it, I used to get vegan chicken nuggets from the store. And this is how they taste them. Munchy munch munch. I just feel like replicating chicken is way more difficult than replicating like beef or something. There's just something about chicken that's so, you like, Chicken is like unique, I would say. Whereas well, like beef and like, oh no, I just feel like it's not as unique as chicken. Can chicken you imagine, is hard to replicate. Can you imagine trying to replicate shrimp or something? That's so gross. I'm pretty sure there is vegan seafood. I ate all mine and you didn't eat all yours. So that's really mean to the chef, but okay. I was honestly expecting butter. I, like, cause I've like veggie grilled chicken. I've ate veggie grilled chicken and thought like, this is good. Like this- But never on its own. Even, I would have had sauce in it, I guess. Sauce in it, I guess. I feel like if this was disguised in a little sandwich, you would have been like, oh, that's the thing. I think they could have done butter. I thought that was my opinion until I mixed it with ketchup. I personally wouldn't go vegan for this, but I'm assuming you would. I will go vegan for it. Anyway. Oh, it looks like you guys still out full. Good thing we have another entree coming your way. We have some chips and cheese. This actually wasn't my idea, so I'll have my assistant, the assistant chef. What's your name? Brandy. I love my assistant chef Brandy explain how this one is made. Yeah, basically this is some 100% vegan Via Life cheddar, cheddar shreds. Yeah, it just has a bunch of cornstarch and like other random stuff. And people say it tastes just like regular cheese. Throw that on some chips, put it in the microwave. I know it sounds simple, but it's one of our best delicacies here at the Costco Vegan Restaurant. So, I think you guys are gonna love it. Okay. Give it to us. I guess they just don't want me to grab them. So from now on, you just grab them? Yeah. Because they have like a weird thing, I guess, so I don't know. That actually looks pretty good. This reminds me of like my childhood. <laughs> this is like, imagine if you actually got this at a restaurant. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, this is basically just nachos. I could picture some bar serving something like this. They and, like put some meat on it. And it costs like $5 or something. Yeah. I am surprised it melted. I know, already I'm impressed. I, like I've watched vegan videos and they're always like, this cheese doesn't melt, this cheese does, but this cheese does. That literally just tastes like cheese. It tastes like Kraft American Singles. I'm kind of like loving it to be honest. I'm so wowed. Damn, you got a dairy boy happy. Oh no, it tastes like real cheese, but also fake cheese. But like, it's okay. It's in the middle of like fake craft American singles. But also there's like a tinge of like real um, cheddar cheese. In it. I'm getting the vibe of like when you go to a gas station and you click that button and it pours out that liquid cheese. That's what this reminds me of. Something else about this cheese is that, have you noticed that it turns into nacho cheese? When you melt it, it gets like really gooey, which I kind of like. This might be my favorite thing at this restaurant. But like, even if it was normal cheese, I'd love it. But I just <laughs> love cheese. 
<laughs> this is another one of those things where it does get boring after a while. I remember I used to make this, I always have to pour salsa on it. So I need, an, I need another, I need something else, you know? I get what you're saying. I am gonna keep eating though, even though you said you don't like it. I love the cheese. Just like the nachos, like, I feel like I'm the type of person where I need like a lot of juices and everywhere. From the vegan cheeses that you've had, like what is this standing? I what think like mean? one of the best. This is literally just seems like cheese. That's not, there's no part of it where I'm thinking, oh, it's almost like cheese. It just is cheese. I feel like everyone would be fooled. No, I just think this was cheese. Will eating this cheese make me constipated? Like if I ate a oh, butt yeah. of this cheese, would I get constipated? I've actually heard that there's certain vegan things that are better than the real thing. And this, this could, could be in it. I would almost go as hard as to say, like you said, that this is better than actual cheese because it's way more moldable. Mm -hmm. which... I like how you can also make a slime out of it. I know, it's good for your kids. I'd go vegan for it. I would do. Wow, they did it. They really did it. That, I don't know, I, I, I love it. I just love it. And you know what love is. Love is a strong feeling. You did that. It looks like you guys are having a sweet tooth being created in the back of your mouth. Well, you're in luck because today we have some organic acai bowls. Yes, me and Brandy were in the, sh in the cooking area, the kitchen for like 30 minutes, but we actually were just putting on a front. This one is just in a box. We just were both on our phones back there, but um, hope you guys enjoy this tattooed chef. Acai bowl. Yeah, this is one of those items where they put vegan on it, but I don't think there is even any acai bowls that aren't vegan. Acai doesn't have any meat in it or anything, but yeah, it is plant-based. <laughs> this giving us a box? I guess so. All right. I haven't had an acai bowl in forever, but this used to be like such a big thing back in like 2016. I never was an acai bowl person because I remember there was this place in LA where they had these giant acai bowls and I had one in the morning and it made me feel so sick. Cause I think there's a thing for, with my stomach where if I have too much sugar in the morning, I feel sick. Oh, so it just ends up making yeah. shit or something? This makes me like actual shit. <laughs> makes me feel like shit. Mm. You're supposed to let it thaw for 45 minutes. I mean, they, they should have done that at the restaurant, but I guess we'll left to I know. Oh, the toppings. Oh wait, we might have to go into the kitchen. Oh, you actually can't. I guess might as well actually enjoy it, right? Should we break into the kitchen? Probably, I wanna actually enjoy it, you know? Okay, Brandy and Brandon. Get the fuck out of the way. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we have to do other work at this Costco restaurant. I know, what's even the point of like tipping or anything? It has like blueberry strawberries and then some acai smoothie stuff. Yeah, what even is acai when you get down in? It's a, it's a fruit, I'm pretty sure. Mm, I don't believe it. And then there's some granola and coconut to put on top. Which is fun. But what I never understood about acai. Okay, why could you only buy acai puree? You, you could know. never buy just acai. Yo, and that's what I'm saying. If it's a if it's a fruit, how come no one's ever seen it in the fruit form? Nobody. That's interesting. So is it just like, Eli, like Bill Gates or Elon Musk just invented a fruit for fun? Yeah, I just am not an acai person. But I'll wait, get a chance. Wait, when I've had these, they're always so good. It tastes like ice cream. I don't know. Something about this is like I'm I'm like legit kind of blowing up in the inside thinking about eating it. Okay, should we dip? Yep. Mmm. What's all in this? Like, that is banana. Yeah, bananas. I like the crunch. Literally just tastes like a smoothie bowl. Like, mm -hmm. it's not anything crazy. Yeah, you could easily make this at home, <laughs> like so easily. Are you okay? Yeah, I don't know, granola. What are the benefits of acai? I swear I remember people saying like, it speeds up metabolisms and stuff. Like that's the whole thing, right? I didn't hear about it. Maybe I made that up. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to say that I would literally never buy this. Just mm. because I know it's so easy. Like, I have a smoothie almost like every day and like it's easy. <laughs> buy three bags of frozen fruit and get some granola. You got it. Munchy munch munch. Honestly delicious. No, I love it. I that. scraped that shit down. 
We wouldn't, I, I would say I would go vegan for this, but you don't even have to go vegan for it because I don't know if there ever are not vegan. Maybe they sometimes have milk chocolate. Oh, honey, but. Oh, honey, I yeah, got you right. The thing about it is that I'm gonna say I wouldn't go vegan for this because like you said, I, I would literally eat this and not even be, you know. Yeah, it's not really it's a not, vegan thing. Yeah, it's like this is dumb as up Costco restaurant. But I understand the marketing from Tattoo Chef saying vegan. It's like. But also, I actually think it's a little bit serious because honey. It, oh, is that I bet, the main I bet thing? a lot of these probably have honey in them to sweeten. I'm trying it, to you think know? what it'd either be honey or chocolate, right? Yeah, milk chocolate. Don't leave just la just yet. We have a going away snack. We have the unreal dark chocolate coconut mints. Oh, minis actually. Sorry, I got that wrong. These ones I actually made in my basement last night. Nonetheless, they're really tasty. I eat them all the time. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. That is all a lie. It's just from a package. It hasn't been opened yet, so here we go. They just gave us another bag. Oh, I'm. I love almond joys, so I think I'm gonna like this. Oh, is it? It's coconut. I usually don't like coconut, but will this change? Coconut was in the acai bowl. Oh, but I liked it in that. See, that's the thing. I like it in certain things. Ooh, it did really wrap. They're so confident they called it unreal. Cause like you're gonna eat it, and you're like this is unreal. You know what I mean? But are we actually gonna think that? I know, that's what I'm curious about now. Cheers. Cheers. Maybe I'm a coconut person. <laughs> I'm just laughing while I'm doing this because I'm reading the bag and it says, for real. The taste is unreal. It's like, boo, no it isn't. This is the most, like it's good, but like, if you're gonna build it up to this whole thing, it's not unreal, it's just regular. It's not even that good, really. It's just coconut mashed together with chocolate around it. I'm just kidding, I'm not trying to hate anyone. I think it's good, but like, it tastes like an Almond Joy, which is literally like what it's supposed to be. Like, mm. an Almond Joy has an almond in it, and this doesn't. Wait, does this taste just the same as an Almond Joy? Without the almond. Then it would be unreal, because this is all, it's just so healthy. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of crazy. Yeah, it's all like GMO and stuff. Some would say it doesn't taste like an Almond Joy because it's dark chocolate, but I love dark chocolate. Mm. I'm gonna make another one. It reminds me of Halloween. Like something about this really reminds me of Halloween candy. It is cool how there's like only five ingredients. So you are a coconut person or you are not? I think I am a coconut person now. Obviously it tastes good and I, I love shit like this, but I wouldn't go vegan for it because um, it's kind of the same as the acai bowl situation. Like it's not I, really. it's not even really like, like this wouldn't, be not vegan. Unless it was made with milk chocolate, I guess. Yeah. And I guess we do have to give it to them. Like, vegan isn't like the main thing. It's just one of the attributes, you know? It's like they're saying vegan, blah, blah, blah. It's just like a little thing on the side. Too. Yeah, I mean, it's the same as like non-GMO. It's cool, but I'm not going vegan for it. I am going vegan for it, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Um, Come back again. Anything you want to say? Nope. <laughs> There's nothing really to say. Oh. Yeah, thanks for having us. Bye. Yeah, see ya. All right. <laughs> Bye. See ya.